this one that's rapping. Oh my God, oh my God, if I die, I'm a legend when they lay me down. Yo, what is on everyone? My name is Nathan. Welcome back to another video here today. I hope you guys are all having yourselves a fantastic day. And I know I say this in every video, but please ignore the cars that are driving up and down my road. I know they're very annoying. I can't really do anything about it. But welcome back to another video, guys. Today, I'm basically just going to be going over every single one of my characters and the stats and stuff because, you know... Why not, right? Why not? I know a lot of you guys want to, you know, see my stats and stuff on my characters because, you know, why not? So, let's start off with Connor. He's my only level 120 wizard so far because, you know, I just... I haven't been playing that much Wiz lately. And, you know, so... This is my only max, technically max character. So let's take a good look at him real quick. I'm gonna try to go this or go through this as fast as possible because I know it's kind of boring just me, you know, sitting here and talking. But uh, this is all my health and stuff. I have 115 damage, 47 resist to everything, 14% accuracy, 495 crit. I wish I was a little higher, but you know. 14% armor piercing, 5% incoming, and 17% outgoing, 105% power pips percentage and you know five percent shadow pip the gear that i'm rocking with today the malister hat you know pretty original uh the malister robe pretty original but the boots the ancient persian boots i got this from the gulchers ward pack they're very good if you guys have counts i definitely recommend try to open it open this pack to try to get these boots i'd wait to level 120 if you're close but if you're not you know just go with the 110 I mean, there's not really that much of a difference but those are my boots my wand i have this wand. you know i want to get the 120 version but you know uh i don't think there's really that much of a difference but you know it's always good to have you know the highest level wand and stuff like that so my athame the blade of the felid titan or the feld titan i said felid oh my god i'm an idiot okay that's my uh that's my a theme. I couldn't think of it for a second. You know, pretty cool, I guess. For my amulet, I have this. I mean, I would use this, but you know, I'd, uh, you know, uh, fuck it, I'm just gonna use this, whatever. Uh, for my ring, I have the Apocalypto ring. I do wanna, you know, get a better ring eventually. I've just been too lazy. For my pet, I have, you know, this. You know, it kind of failed with Pierce, but you know, oh well. It's better than, you know, my other pet that I had, which was like this. Yeah, it's definitely way better than this pet. Kind of failed, but uh, yeah. And then I have the Death Gulcher to give me the three percent damage. And you know, that's basically the rundown of my stats on my Death character. Let's go to the next character, boys. All right, so my next character. Let's go with my Fire. You know, let's go in order, cause why not? So we got my Fire character, Nathan Breeze, level one seventeen. All right, we might as well, you know, just go over here. All right, so what I'm rocking? I got the Malister hat. I have the Malister robe. And then I also have the Persian boots. Uh, these are the level one, uh, level 110 version. Uh, pretty good. I definitely would recommend getting these boots because they're so good. They're a lot better than, you know, the Malister boots because, you know, they give you more crit. They don't give you any black, though, but they give you more health, a lot more health, uh, more crits, and uh, a couple more damage. So I definitely would try to get these if you guys can. Uh, for my wand, I have this wand, you know, pretty cool, pretty cool. I like it. Uh, you get it from the, uh, the Immortals Lore Pack. Uh, for the Athame, you know, I gotta work on that. I wanna get the Blade of the Fell Titan. Or the one from Darkmoor, that would be nice. Uh, for this, I'm rocking this. The Lieutenant Snow's Incendiary Amulet. I think you get it from the Red. Well, I got this one from the Red, I don't know. But the Alpha and Omega Ring, I got this rocking. For my pet, you know, the, the, the Fail Pets. You know, the Fail Pets, I'm rocking this right now. It could have got spell proof, dude. It just could have, but I guess not. So for my mount, you know, I'm just rocking the cast symbol that I got during one of the pack opening videos that I did. So this is basically my fire, uh, 114 damage, 45 resist to everything, 18% accuracy, 482 crit. It would be higher, but I don't have the right stuff on. Well, actually, I don't think it would be that much higher. I don't know. I'd have to see. For my block, I have you know 224, 11% armor piercing. 17 in 17 out 96 percent power pip percentage so that's basically it for you know my fire and this is like the overall stitch and everything so yeah that's my fire let's go to the next one um next one is probably gonna be okay let's just do my ice screw it my ice keller yeah i don't really have a stitch going on because why stitch in the middle of questing it makes no sense but um okay i guess we're in azteca but 
for my ice, I have the Ancient Persian Battle Helm. You know, not the greatest, but you know, that's the only thing I really have right now. So I'm rocking that. Got it from the Gulchers Horde Pack. The Woodland Travel Coat, I think, you, yeah, you can craft it at level 74. You have to be a uh, Transcendent Crafter. I just did it on my death and transferred it over. So that's what I got for the robe. For the boots, you know, the Ancient Persian Givis, Givis, whatever, however you say that. Boots are amazing. Definitely would try to get those. Um, and these are the, like the other the ones for the other school. And you know that's my boots for the wand. I have the fortune teller's eternal gaze. Pretty damn nice. For the athame, I have this. I I couldn't find the bear's claw of ice when I went looking for it, so I was just rocking this one. But I could probably like go back and probably find it. For the amulet, I have this one just for the extra health. For the rings, uh, the sapphire ring of battle. Um, and then for the pets, I have this failed pet. Ugh, I was so butthurt. Uh, I'm not really questing, bro. But oh yeah, I forgot to show you. So on my fire, I have brimstone learned. On my death, I had deer knight learned. On my ice, I have I have winter moon. So if you, if you guys didn't, you know, get that. On my fire, I have brimstone. On my death, I have deer knight, and on my ice, I have winter moon. So oh, and also, <laughs> I also have a uh, lord of night. And Samurai and Savage Ball too. So that's basically, that's basically, you know, my ice. Um, for my Storm, let's go to my Storm right now. My Storm is the only character without a lore spell for its school, okay? Let me just put that out there. But for my Storm, I have two silver helmets. I have the two silver armor. You know, pretty good. Um... I definitely rec- I mean, I think I got it from like a bundle a while ago, but yeah, they're pretty good. I also have the Senator's Rain Cloud shoes. Pretty ugly looking, but I mean, they're better than the boots that I would normally be rocking. For the wands, you know, just a plain old Sky and Hosta. The Athame. The heart still right now, but I can- I use that to PvP. I don't really have an amulet on right now because it's on my other character. For the ring, I have the Widow's Break Neck ring, you know, just for the power pip percentage, but I use this for like, you know, PvP. My pet, you know this, pretty bad. I gotta work on it. Um, this is my mount, Proud Lion. The typical mount. Storm deck, deck of the Lotus, whatever you want to call it. If you guys want to pause it, take a screenshot. This is like the this my Storm deck if you want to look at it. Treasure card deck. It looks like this a little bit, but yeah, it's not really you know, filled in. I might just make a separate like deck setup video in the future. Just let me know if you guys want to see that. So, yeah, that's basically my... Uh, let me just go over my stats right now. 32 damage. 17 this is just like questing stats they're not really that good but you know just as typical stuff so yeah that's basically my storm you know let's go to the next character i think we got two more yet yep we got two more left um let's go with my life okay nathan spirit the og i'm just kidding that's cold show right there but we got nathan spirit okay let's go over here in this corner so for my hat you know okay I'm rocking the Jade Gear, the full Jade Gear, because, you know, it's pretty damn good. So, if you guys have it for level 20 and you want to do a death PvP, definitely, you know, get that, because it's really good. Uh, for my wand, I have the Aquilin Velite Lance. Pretty damn good, because it gives out 1% life damage. For my Athame, you know, just rocking the Duelist Fatal Razor. Amulet, Smith Mastery, I'll tell you why in a second. Some of you probably already know why I'm rocking the Myth Mastery. You know, rings, the Duelist Ring, because, you know, typical... For my pet, this is my pet. Working on it a little bit. I didn't really want May Cast Fairy, but you know, you get what you get. For my mounts, I just rock, you know, the coolest mount ever, the Hippogriff, you know, just just all these three. And for my deck, this right here. If you guys want to pause it and look at my main deck setup, I have this. So I have Luminous Weaver, and I also have Keeper of the Flame. That's why I use the Myth Mastery, and I also use like Orthrus and stuff like that as a combo. So that's basically my Life Wizard. Uh, let me just go over like a rundown of the stats. 19% damage, 29 resist to everything. 3% armor piercing, 11 in, 13 out. It used to be like 20 in and 20 out, but I forget what I, I think. Like, I like I was rocking different gear or whatever, but 37% uh, power pit, pretty damn good. So this is my life. If you want to, you know, this is the stitch I got going on here. They don't really have uh, life elegant boots, so I think I do have another stitch. Where is it? Um... Right here. I usually use this robe, but I don't have enough crowns to stitch it. But uh, yeah, so that's my life character, and the one you've all been waiting for, ladies and gentlemen. We got Cold Troll coming up here. So we got Cold Troll. 
Let's go on him. You guys might be laughing at my stitch right now. So, oh, we got to sign out. Uh, we got to uh, head into friends. Yes. All right. So, I'm sorry, guys. I love you all, but I don't want to get a bunch of messages while well, I'm trying to make a video. I hope you guys understand. So, for my gear, I got the commander hat, commander robe, commander. Oh, no. I have the ancient purge. Guys, that was a loud ass car. I hope you guys didn't hear. You probably did, but I'm rocking the boots that you get from the pack because i like them a lot better than these boots it, here's like the comparison they give you a ton more damage more health more well not really more power per percentage you know you lose five resist a couple accuracy but, but who cares who cares okay so that's what i'm rocking for my boots uh for my wand i have the sky iron hosta i have a bunch of different wands but i'm rocking the sky iron hosta right now a uh, Duelist Fatal Razor with a Morgant's Desiate. Pretty damn good if you ask me. I gotta socket some jewels on there, but I gotta get some first. Life Mastery Amulet, the typical Duelist Daredevil Ring. You know, why not? Pets. I have this pet, the Fail. And uh, the, uh, the other Fail. And then the f No, this one is still a work in progress. Alright, but it's probably gonna fail. But yeah, that's my pet. Mounts, Balance Gulcher for the extra 2% damage. Deck of the Lotus. Uh, my Spell Deck. Um, I have Luminous Weaver, I have Athena Battle Sight, Keeper of the Flame, I have all myth spells, and, like, this character is stacked. Every lore spell you could possibly need from Magus PvP right on here. Luminous Weaver, Athena, Pigs, and Keeper of the Flame. Shout out to everyone that helped me get all of these spells. I love you all. So, if you want to take a screenshot of that, and here's my, like, this isn't really set up, but I'll probably make a video. I actually already have a video of Gold Trolls decks up, if you want to go see that. But overall stats, 66, no, it would be 68, but I don't have my mount equipped since I'm inside the arena. So 68% damage, pretty damn good for a Magus. 44 resist to everything, 11% accuracy. 1% armor piercing, 6 in, 5 out. 53% power pit percentage. And, you know, that's it. That is it for my characters and you know my gear and all that stuff i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did you know what to do smash a like button down below let's try to get 45 likes on today's video if we can that would be amazing also if you're new to the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button anyway my name is nathan hope you guys have a great rest of your day and i'll see you guys in the next video peace